Hello guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Huge, huge, huge pleasure to be here with you today. Today we are going to be very specific. We are going to talk about a single trade that I took last week that I really, really want to talk to you about. Anyway, you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm going to show you what to do and I'm going to especially show you what not to do in order to make money. Let's go. Okay, so guys, before we begin, as usual, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave a comment if you feel like if you have any question whatsoever. You know, I'm always here for you guys, always here to bring you value and to give you all my knowledge. Just remember one thing, as usual, every Tuesday the video is in English, every Friday the video is in French. I don't want you to get confused and go on the video and be like, what the fuck is happening? So just, right, Tuesday in English, Friday in French. Let's go. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, there is no clickbait. I've made 3,000 pounds in actually less than three minutes, was more 90 seconds. And I just want to show you how. But before, before that, I'm going to show you what not to do if you want to make money in this wonderful, wonderful industry because there's a shit ton of money to make. I'm sure going to show you an example of this guy called R2Z. He's a French YouTuber, he's a French tipster, as he likes to call himself, but I'm not going to lie. It's absolutely terrifying. The guy mostly makes money out of people who buy his VIP, who buy his membership, who are going on a certain bookmaker, a certain website, and he gets some money out of their loss, right? That's what he does. That's, that's, that's awful. Anyway, the other day, I'm on Instagram and I see his story because, yes, I follow the guy. I want to see how much crap he's, about. He's, he's, he's able to actually communicate in less than an hour. And I see that he's just put a new bet which is betting a thousand euros on the fact that there's going to be less than 22 and a half goals in the games Poland against England. Less than 22 and a half goals in a game where there is Robert Lewandowski, Harry Kane, Jack Relish, and it was just... What the fuck are you doing? The guy in these last 10 days, by the way, with this particular strategy, the guy lost about eight to nine grand, right? I just don't get it. Why would you go on that type of strategy? And I see so many guys doing it. How many shots during the game? How many yellow cards? Is there going to be a red card? Uh, who's going to be the penalty shooter? For some reason, if the usual penalty shooter is not there, how, can, how many corner shots are they going to be? It's like, what the fuck are you doing? So anyway, the guys lost about a thousand euros per day in the last eight to nine days. It hurts. But <laughs> like a bitch, I have a hundred thousand pounds bankroll. It would hurt me, so I don't even imagine for the guy, I think he's got like 15 or 20, so... Oh, you don't feel good at night. No, you don't like it. Anyway, so he's put some money on it. Guess what? Guess what? 24 shots. 24 fucking shots in the game. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Of course, 20, of course 24 shots. You go against the market at terrible, terrible odds. The guy went, put a thousand to make 440 profit. What's the absolute rule in trading? And I'm not just talking, I'm not, and I'm not just talking sports trading, guys. I'm talking trading in general. Never put more money on the table than what you can make. I'm, I'm going to repeat it for you guys. Never risk more than your potential profit. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. For some reason, sports trading is allowed to do it. Sports betting, gambling, whatever the fuck you call it. It's for some reason, people accept it. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. You know, I'm going to put 10,000 to make 2,000 profit. It's a done deal. It's easy. No, that's stupid. It's stupid because you're going to need a huge, huge winning rate in order to be in profit, right? The best gamblers and tipsters in the world have a winning rate of about 70 to 72%. So if you put some money at odds of 1.2, which means that you make 2,000, if you risk 10,000, you're losing money on the long run right? You are going to lose money on the long run. And that's what I want to talk to you about today as well. The risk to reward ratio. It's absolutely fundamental. It's absolutely crucial. If you don't have it, forget about profit. Just forget about it. Period. As simple as that. If you don't have your risk to reward ratio properly managed, you're going to lose money. Okay. But anyway, let's move on to the trade I took to show you and to explain to you how I made money on this specific trade. And that's not just the 3,000 pounds because that's nice, but I make more than that every single weekend, right? I make between four and 5,000 per weekend. But what I want to show you today is the risk to reward ratio of this particular trade. I laid England, which means betting against the position, right? It's one of the main uh, perks that we have as a football trader. You can put money against a position rather than just backing it. You probably know it, but if you don't, I just want to make it very clear. So I put money against England at the 90th minute at the odds of 1.05. 1.05. 
I was risking 150 pounds, 150 pounds to make 3,000. That's a good trade, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I risk one to make 20. I risk 50 to make 1,000, 100 to make 2,000, 150 to make 3,000. When I think about it, I'm like, fuck me, I should have put more money, right? And I'm gonna tell you why I didn't decide to go in the trade earlier than that. No. Because there was no value. Because there was simply no value. England was still pushing. They were the favorites of the game. Therefore, why would I put money on it when they're still pushing, they're still pushing for a second goal, and Poland is just waiting back there, waiting for an opportunity. They're not even pushing, okay? They're just making sure they don't concede another goal, okay? Period. That's all they wanted to do for 85 minutes. Then at the 85th minute, they started to go, right? They started to really go on the break. Lewandowski was being really, really, really more active, right? We didn't see anything of him for 85 minutes. And then the killer came back. Okay, like, I think he shot just above the target for at the 87th, 88th minute. That's when I decided, I was like, yeah, yeah, it's happening, baby. I let go, like, one or two minutes just to make sure that the pressure was still going on. 1.05, risking 150 to, to make 3,000. Poland scored at the 92nd minute. As simple as that, right? England was treating the game like a fucking walk in the park. Right? Like Harry Kane, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I know he's one of the best number nine on the planet. There is no way around it. He's, a, he's an absolute killer. Just like Mosala, just like Cavani, just like, just like Ronaldo when he's in the box, you know he's going to score, right? But the guy can't run. The guy cannot run. The guy never, ever defends. Therefore, I'm like, okay, he's still on the pitch. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't care. If anything, I'm happy with it. But he's still on the pitch, not making any effort at all. Jack Grealish was exactly the same. And I love this player, but he wasn't doing any defensive work. 1-1, one, one, baby. 1-1. One, one. I focused on the statistics. I focused on what I saw during the game. I focused on the intent to score the goal. And that's what I want to tell you. Everybody says that if you have a small bankroll, you cannot actually make money. What I'm telling you, if you have the guts, if you have the audacity, if you have the right strategy, and that's why I'm teaching in my academy in France, and I'm going to teach you guys very, very soon in England, you are going to make money regardless of your bankroll, right? And that's not me just shooting in the dark, and I'm showing you my trade, and if you have a tiny, tiny bankroll, you're gonna risk 1.5 to make 30. If you have a slightly bigger bankroll, you're gonna risk 15 to make 300 pounds. That's, that's a game changer for your trading. That's what I'm talking about. Stop going for small odds. Stop going for, for small, petty money. That's not what we're here for. We're here for a money heist, baby. We're here for the fucking save. You know what? It's just, just I, I, I'm sorry I'm getting excited. It's just because there is so much money to make and everybody is trying to focus on a little process and little by little, which I get. And that's fantastic. And that's how in the long run you're going to be profitable. But sometimes... Sometimes you have these little kicks. Sometimes the market gives you something, gives you an opportunity. If you have the right mindset, if you have the right methods, seize it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a pleasure for me to be here with you today. Thank you so much for your attention, for staying here with me. Please, again, if you have any question whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Just shoot me an email. Just go on my website. If you haven't downloaded the free strategies in order for you to start making money right now on the market, free strategies on, the, on my website. Just have to put your name, your mail address. That's it. You get them straight in your mailbox. And it's fucking money time, baby. Anyway, guys, it was a massive pleasure for me to be here with you today. Take care. Careful with your position. Make money.